when you make things soft, the word Gan Eden, the Garden of Eden, pleasure, you make something which is otherwise not pleasurable, you make it attractive. It's not a marketing gimmick. It's not like, hey, we'll bring you in, and then guess what? Now you're stuck. That's not the purpose. The purpose is not to seduce you. That's not the word. The purpose is to attract you to a more gentle, more kind version of halakha than what is usually peddled in the world. It's a difference. Many Jewish groups in the world are missionaries. Their job is to draw you in, get you in so deep, and you're so blind by the time you find out that the world you just joined is maybe even worse than the world you left. If it's corruption, if it's evil, if it's Lashon Hara, if it's societal bullying, whatever might be the problem. If it's an oppressive way of life, religious authorities that are, are uh, abuse their authority. You, but you're too deep now. You gave up all your friends and your family and your life and you moved and you spent money. And what are you going to do now? Throw it all away. You already raised your kids in that world. Are you going to tell them all now that you think it's a lie? Are you going to give your kids a, a midlife crisis? That's not the purpose, like the Chayim Devin says. The purpose is the opposite. To repair the world of Halakha with Agadah. Those who have taught Halakha, divorced from its context, are the ones who have done a disservice to the Jewish people. And it's our job to finally, when we say fuse, it doesn't mean to change Halakha in terms of its core, but to soften Halakha. To make Halakha something that is not just palatable, but something that's desirable. People will see a type of halakha that, hey, I can get behind that. That's a value that I share. We've identified the problem of why people run. The solution is not where other people think it is. It's not by gimmicks. It's not by, you know, uh, know, uh, beer and chumash, or uh, sushi and, I don't know, mamarei chazar, and... uh, basketball while learning Gemara. It's not about uh, surfing rabbis and boxing rabbis and uh, running, I don't know, whatever. Thing. It's not the gimmicks. The people are not looking for gimmicks. They didn't run away because they were superficial. They ran away. Give them. Give them the validity that the reason why they left was a deep reason. The reason why Jews leave Torah is because Torah has been taught in such a way that the natural reaction is repulsion and leaving. And those of you who didn't leave, it's because you've been blessed with people who you've clearly, or your experiences that you've created for yourself are positive ones. Rabbi Chaim David Halevi says, the solution is, how do we bring back Jews who care about Agadah, meaning they care about the spirit of Judaism. They care about the beauty of Judaism. They identify as Jews proudly. They believe in HaKadosh Baruch proudly. Ask them to drive on Shabbat, they will. Ask them to curse HaKadosh Baruch not over their dead body. So what's missing here? It's not Judaism. What's missing here is the understanding that halakha is just as beautiful as your Jewish pride. That observance of mitzvot is just as magnificent as your love of Judaism and Torah and Hashem in your community. That's what's missing. To unlock that door that divides agada, the beautiful theoretical Judaism, with halakha, which is used to be the practical, rigid Judaism to remove the threat, to create attraction by softening halakha. And by that, allowing the Jewish people whose hearts are torn to not have to be torn anymore, to not have to make the painful decision between is it Judaism or is it myself? Is it my religious health or my emotional well-being? You won't have to make those choices anymore if the type of Judaism that is being offered handles both of those beautifully. It gives you yourself It gives you your own emotional well-being. It gives you sanity and balance while grounding you in a world of halakha that is thousands and thousands of years old, given to us by Moshe Rabbeinu on Har Sinai, by the mouth of HaKadosh Baruch Hu.